is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome back to the fifth installment of Journey to Redemption. If you guys remember from my last episode, we got to meet Nico Champion and delve a little bit into his storyline and his family dynamic. Uh, we got to see what was going on and wrong with Nico and also um, get to know his his parents and what was going on in their relationship. My thought process was to go back um, in this episode and revisit them because I wanted to delve a little bit deeper into the storyline. But on my way to Nico's house, something told me to check on the Brody family. Now, the Brodies are actually a, um, well, let me get out of tab mode really quickly and let's go into live mode. Okay, so the Brody family is, um, they're tied to the um, Nico, the Nico, the Champion family because um, Nico Champion is actually dating their one and only, only daughter, Tempest Brody. And so when I got to their house, I clicked on them. None of them are home and Tempest wasn't home. And it's kind of late. Obviously you can see it is midnight and she is at the restaurant, at a restaurant. And I was like, kind of like, what's going on here? Why is she, it's midnight. Why is she at the restaurant? Oh, these exception. I think I've got a mod that um, MCC doesn't like, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. Uh, so I was curious as to what was going on because um, if you guys, I haven't discussed Tempest before. I may have mentioned her name in passing, but Tempest is a, I wouldn't say she's necessarily conniving, but she's definitely an opportunist. Uh, she is a sim that um, wants to be, wants to live a certain lifestyle that she's grown accustomed to. And, um, and so she is going to always seek um, to date the most eligible bachelor in the town. Well, at least one that's her age. Um, and, you know, hold on to their coattails because she wants to be rich. She wants to live a lavish lifestyle. And so Nico Champion being one of the, a part of a, one of the wealthiest Sims uh, families, or he, I guess he would be, um, or his family is the wealthiest Sim family. Um, you know, he, um, he is, she's got her in her line site. She's got him in her line sight. Well, you guys know what I'm saying, right? She's got a, her eye on him. And, well, she's got her, a firm grip on him right now because, because they're dating. But anyways, my thought was like, okay, she's out at a restaurant. It's midnight. What's going on? Um, and I came here to just see, you know, because I'm being nosy. But I did happen to see that she's down here with her parents. Um, this is her father. Uh, he's obviously ready to go, but his name is Searson Brody, and her mother, I think, is around here somewhere. Yeah, there she is. Uh, this is Madeline Brody. Okay, so all's clear. So we have nothing to worry about there. However, I will say this. Tempest um, doesn't really know about Nico's dilemma as far as his grades are concerned because she looks at... Um, Nico's potential. Uh, yeah, he's not looking to become a doctor. However, he is a great basketball player and she knows that pro athletes can make a lot of money. And so, um, yeah, I mean, not only is he good looking, but yeah, he's very talented, uh, athletically. So, um, that's where we're at. So we're going to we're going to leave Tempest alone here to finish watching television and her family to, I guess, to finish hanging out, although they really should be at home. I guess I should show you quickly what her uh, traits are. So she is a gold digger. Her mother also shares the same trait. They're both gold diggers. Um, and so the aspiration for gold diggers, um, they're socialites. Um, I don't actually know what the complete aspiration is, but, um, basically to, I guess, marry, um, the richest person or richest 
Ah. Uh, really? You weren't supposed to show up in my story. Seriously? I thought these guys weren't supposed to show up. And, oh, she's pre- Wait a minute. She's pregnant. She is pregnant. Who is she pregnant by? Girl, kids will make you lose your mind. Okay. Uh, okay, that was a side note. Honestly, I was not expecting that. Um, if you guys remember correctly, the gurus told us that we were not supposed to see strange little characters in the, or at least that uh, in our normal storyline or other towns. But uh, she's seemed to find her way into um, Newcrest and she's pregnant. So anyways, let's go back to the um, Champion family and I will see you there in just a moment. Okay, welcome back, guys. Um, I am in a panic right now because I get to the um, champion house, and um, yeah, there's a fire. Somebody is on fire. Uh, <laughs> so I need to find out who's on fire. Uh, Nico doesn't seem to be on fire. Who is on fire? Oh my gosh. Somebody's on fire. Fire, Sims, okay, wait a minute. Who's on fire? There's a fire, fire, okay. What and who is on fire? I'm like freaking out. Okay, I need to look through the house. Nothing, I don't see anything. I mean, can the wash and dryer catch on fire? What in the world? Okay, so no need to panic. All's clear here. Maybe the butler like sprayed. Okay, there is a fire. Oh gosh, it's Nico. <laughs> Nico. Okay, Nico is having one heck of a week. First, he's gotten uh, benched or possibly benched. And now uh, he's caught the house on fire. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, I missed a spot, guys. All right, let me fix this one little spot here because that's going to bother me. How did I miss that spot? See that? Yep, missed a spot. All right, let me just fix this really quick before we go on. All right, so uh, Nico has officially burned the house down. No, he hasn't. But um, yeah. All right, so we're going to have to replace this. And maybe we should move this from the house. That's probably why it caught on fire, because it's too close to the house. Uh, maybe I could put it over here or something. I don't know if that's going to help with the situation, but yeah. All right, so um, emergency averted. Everything's good. Nico is good. Nico is looking awful you guys look at this he is not in a great mood okay first of all it's three o'clock three thirty in the morning he has not gone to sleep so we're going to have him go to bed really quickly um i'm pretty sure he's not going to get enough sleep for school because he's got school in like oh five hours so maybe he can get a few hours of sleep I'm not even sure. I think the last episode we did do his homework. I'm pretty sure he has that all completed. Just to be sure, let me check his inventory. Yes, he's got his homework done. Um, all right, so his dad's in here doing yoga. All right, so I wanted to have Nico go on a date with Tempest um, tomorrow, which is Friday. Um. But the way it's looking with him not getting any sleep and his hunger level being low, we might not. I mean, we will have to try. All right. All right. So let me speed this up a little bit and um, we'll be back once he awakes. 
Welcome back. All right, Nico has awoken, and um, he will, I hate these walls when they do that, bounce up and down. Let me just bring all the walls down and bring them back up. Maybe that'll help. Okay, so he's awake now, and we're just going to go ahead and um, have him go take a quick shower. I'm not going to have him eat because I think he can eat at school, but he really needs to take a shower and uh, do that before he heads to school. We've got like 34 minutes to do everything. If he's late, he's late. At this point, he you know doesn't really care. Um well, he cares, but, you know. All right, let's see. Let's read his meaningful story. Uh, with meaningful stories, strong discomfort discomfort can still make some feel uncomfortable. Even though he has other negative emotional thoughts, Nico has a source of discomfort that is so strong it is forcing him to feel uncomfortable. If Nico were to gain more moodlets for his other negative emotions, his discomfort could begin to boost them again. All right, so... All right, the fire between him being hungry and him having to. He has a what? A bladder infection? It is unhealthy to hold your bladder too often. Nico has caught a bladder infection. This son may need to use the bathroom more often than normal. Great. So he is just having an amazing week. He's got a bladder infection. He burned down... Um, a portion of the house now and he might get benched uh, and he's got to take tutoring so not a great week for Nico now he's about to be late for school or he is late for school um, and he's hungry and his energy is low we are doing amazing here guys all right let's send him off to school and um, let's go check in on everybody else all right so Mason is cooking up a meal. He's got to go to work in like seven minutes. So honestly, he has no time. Um, can he pack this? No, he can't. He can resume it. I don't think he can pack this up. I'm going to send him alone. Do I want to? I don't know. I guess we could go um, with him maybe. I've never really done the... No, let's just send him alone for now. I want to hang out with Melisande. Okay, so Melisande is actually in her... I, look at this, guys. I'm seeing this, and this is bothering me. Give me one second. This is ridiculous. I've got to fix this, like now. That OCD in me, I can't... Uh, let me check the other windows. How did I miss this? Mm -mm -mm. I hope I didn't upload it to the gallery like that. <laughs> All right. So back to uh, Melisan. She's in her air, uh, her room of serenity. If I if you guys remember her story, um, she's always wanted a little girl. And um, judging from her, the look on her face, she didn't get any type of serenity. Um doing yoga but that is her um that's where she goes to hang out um and that room was supposed to be her baby girl's nursery and of course she did not have a baby girl she had nico instead and oh he is late for work everybody is late go to work he's sick what is going on all right so he's sick we're gonna have him take some medicine first Mason is currently at work. No, go to work. You can take your medicine, I guess, after. Everybody's sick. It's because the butler. The butler was sick in the last episode. He had the cooties. And he looks all good now. Although that that uh, that right eye was looking kind of crazy. Okay. So Melisande is making breakfast, which is odd because um, she doesn't normally do anything. Uh, she lets uh, the butler uh, do it all. I wish I knew how to say his name. Somebody who is familiar with his name, can you let me know how to pronounce it? Because I do not want to say it wrong. I guess I can say his name is Dachi Yoshida. We'll call him Mr. Yoshida. Okay, so Melisande seems to be the only healthy person in the, the house. Um, 
she's getting ready to start her menstrual cycle, however. But, and uh, those of us who have them realize that that could take the, a turn for the worse. All right. So I'm going to have her eat. And maybe we can have her go out. And welcome back. Uh, we had took a quick break because a couple things I needed to do um, prior to restarting. Um, so let's pause this really quickly. Um, Melisande is part of a, a socialite club and it's aptly named High Society. Um, and honestly, the club is only three people thick. The reason being is um, Melisande only really has two close friends. Uh, one of which being one of which is Bella Glo Bella Goth, um, and we all know Bella Goth is part of a wealthier family, and you definitely have to be wealthy to be a part of this little group that they have together. Um, that is one of the stipulations, and. Then, um, her other friend here, her name is Hannah Roebuck, and Hannah has a lot in common with, um, Melisande. She loves to paint. Um, they're both artists, and, um, but, and she has her shoes on. Why she has her shoes on, I don't know, but that is so like Hannah, because Hannah is, um, She's a work in progress. She's what the upper echelon would call new money. Just a moment, guys. That's the garage door. And once again, we're back. <laughs> this is... Okay, where were we? We were talking about uh, Hannah Roebuck. So, yeah. What were you saying? Yeah, Hannah is uh, from new money. And the funny way she got this money, it was inherit an inheritance from uh, a wealthy relative that she really didn't know. I mean, at all. And this particular relative had children of his own, but he despised his kids because they grew up to be spoiled brats. So uh, before he passed, he wrote, um, he renewed his will and basically wrote um, that his money would be given to a random, wow, that's gorgeous, would be given to a random family member. Um, and Hannah just happened to, to win the lottery uh, in that regard. So she is new to being wealthy. Um, and so she is a work in progress. So she is actually uh, Melisande's project. And that's as far as Melisande's socialite, um, socialite uh, activities go. She thinks of socialites as socializing. So she hangs out with her girlfriends and they go to um, local restaurants, sit and chat, and uh, drink, um, do some berries, paint, or whatever. So this is what they're doing now. They're they've been okay. She's got on her dress. I, she has on her dress. Girl, what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna let her show up wearing the same outfit? I don't think Melisande likes that very much. Um, she is the type of person that that does not shop from the rack, and um, so she would not. She would not appreciate Nina Kylie. Okay, Nina's married, but she would not appreciate Nina walking into her spot wearing the same dress as she has. Okay, it looks like Nico's grades went up. It looks like the tutoring class has been helping him. All right, so she's just going to hang out with them for a while, and she really wants to talk to them about what's going on back at, at home. Um, so I'm going to have her ask about their day I really need to have Hannah put some shoes on this is what I mean about work in progress the girl is she's new to wearing nice clothes you know she's a painter so she really didn't care about those things um, and she's a closet hippie which I can completely understand and relate to because I am too um, yeah all right so 
She's going to tell them about what's going on. Is she sick too? Okay, she's got the stomach bubbles for some reason. Okay, so she's going to ask about their day. And, you know, just let them know. You guys, um, she had a great time with her husband the night before. They went out to dinner. They talked. Um, and they finally uh, had some quality time. But um, she, you know, really still wants to have another child. And, you know, Hannah's like, your time will come. Just give it a chance. You know, he's at least open to, um, you know, re renewing that that um that love and romanticism in your your marriage and you know i think she agrees with her but she knows her husband mason very well and he's stubborn um and she's trying to put up a good front um with her friends but um she knows mason isn't isn't you know keen on having another child all right, let me see what's going on with her. She's, okay, she's drunk. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right, well, I didn't know that. She's also musically talented. Melisande has successfully figured out their talent. I did not know that. This is something new to me, guys. All right, so what is this? Other things on their mind. Melisande can't loosen up and it's kind of killing the mood. Well, I can understand that. She's in a tense mood because she had a great time last night with her husband, but again, she knows that, you know, he was not about to um, give in to the idea of having another kid. So, and we're back. Welcome back, guys. It is Thursday evening, and you guys are probably wondering, okay, she skipped a whole lot of time. Yes, I did. I did. I felt like, you know, let's get, I wanted to get down to the nitty gritty and, you know, get away from the, the humdrum of, you know, just regular, sh regular, I don't know what I'm saying, guys. All right, so we're back with the, the Champion family, and look at this, look at this situation. I don't know what's going on with Nico. He's been feeling kind of crazy the last couple of days. He finally got over his bladder infection, and Mason looks absolutely bored. If you saw, oh, okay. Never mind. The boredom uh, went right out the window as soon as uh, that kiss was there. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on, but he, even though he kissed her passionately, the look on his face, I don't know if they're still, if he's upset with his son or if, if they're just kind of going through the motions or maybe he decided that he would try to kiss her to... Um, see if the spark was still there it obviously was just the day before they woohooed they went out to eat and not necessarily in that order um but she's not in a great mood mason's not in a great mood nico looks like he's been beat up um i don't know what's going on with this family but it's not looking good for them um melisan is uh, looks like she has a lot on her mind um i'm thinking that um, she just kind of wants to get away from the family for a while and she is consulting with her butler. She, you know, she's that fed up. She's like, I'm fed up with, you know, Mason right now. I don't know what to do. You know, I could tell that he's being standoffish. She's even washing her own dishes. There is something wrong here. She's washing her own dishes. She is not in the right state of mind. You know, and the butler, um, we're, like we said, we're going to call him. What did we say we were going to call him? I took the headline effects off. I was getting ready to um, take a picture. But Mr. Yoshida, <laughs> we forgot his name. You know, he's happy to be her confidant, even if it's for just a moment. Um, they just walk past each other. They don't even acknowledge each other. I don't know what's going on, but... Um, you know, she went straight to her room. He went upstairs. She went to bed. What's he doing? He's doing yoga. This is odd because he never comes in this room. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen him come in here. 
I think maybe he just wants to try to relax. He knows that this seems to um, put his wife at ease. And, you know, he's like, maybe I should try it. And let's just check, it his, check his mood. Okay, he took some medicine, so he's doing well. You know, as far as I'm concerned, he's just tense about the fire. But Melisande no, doesn't know that. You know, all she's thinking about is, you know, how they had an amazing night on Wednesday and now he's standoffish again but it's could be also his his job you know he looks like he has a tension headache so it's very well could be just things at work you know he is a doctor they have a tense uh, intense life so all right so we're going to go ahead and cut to the next day uh, let everybody get rested up and I will see you in a moment Okay, so I'm, I'm back, and I said that I was going to let you guys come in on the next day, but I just realized that um, Mason has been sitting here at the computer for the last couple hours, and it is early in the morning, the wee hours, everyone's asleep, no one's awake except for him, and he's been chatting. I don't know who he's been chatting with, but he's chatting with someone online, um, and I think he's... It seems like he's just kind of venting to whoever this person is. Um, and, you know, he's just getting all his stress out. Um, it's not really helping because, yeah. But it's just odd that he's chatting with this person. Um, and honestly, like I said, I don't know who it is. I'm going to check his friends list. Could it be Bob? It could be Bob. It could be Ira. Those are the only two people that he really knows outside of the family or at least hangs out with outside of the family. I don't know who this uh, Ira is, um, but she is a friend apparently. And so is um, Bob. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, anyways, I will see you guys in a little bit. I just thought I wanted to let you guys see that because it was just something that I happened to see and uh, it was a little strange. All right. I'll be back in a moment. I'm back, guys, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave it right there. Uh, I do apologize apologize for the uh, slight cliffhanger. Um, I know we could have gone further, but there was just a lot of distractions today and a lot of cuts that you could probably see. And, it, you know, my recording environment just wasn't conducive um, to continuing on. So I wanted to... I guess leave it in a good place or a good spot where we can continue on with the next video now if you've gotten this far um, I really would love to know if you enjoyed this video and if you did give me a thumbs up and if you didn't give me some feedback I want to hear from you in the comments below because I certainly want to um, get some constructive criticism from y'all because it's very important um, that I learn I'm still new to this, so uh, there is a huge learning curve, and I really want to know what I could do to improve myself in the future. Um, also, if you've made it this far and you're not subscribed, become a part of our family, why don't you? So hit that subscribe button um, and the notification bell so you'll know every time I upload a video. And also do me a favor, uh, share this with the world <laughs> and so that we'll have more people to join our family i do thank you again for taking the time to um watch and i love you guys and until next time ciao